Welcome back, everyone, to the show. So we spent the first half of the show talking about some stuff that's going on right now and coming very soon in the future. But now we're going to go even further into 2016 and look at all the crazy stuff that is happening this year. Chris, Let's get going. That's fine. Uh, some of these things could range from movies to things that are coming out. We are covering all the pop culture stuff. S- some things that we don't even care about. All the things that in like 20 years and you're playing like 2016 trivia are going to come up. That's what we're going to cover right now. Exactly. Trust me. Okay, not all these things, but most of these will probably appear in 2016 mm-hmm. trivia like in 20 years. So, yeah. Well, I mean, we've got the most popular thing I think is happening right now on a lot of social media in, in the United States. And well, it's an like election that. year. Yeah, it's, it's election no one's year. fault. It's an ele- no, it's just it is what it is. And we're you getting know, the it's younger a four-year cycle in America exactly. where all the new voters get all fired up to vote for their guy, and all the old voters get even more grumpy and crotchety. Yep. Can I say crotchety? I think I can say I, yeah, crotchety, right? And um, all the in bet- and all the and I'm between in a political sense, but in between an age sense, voters are just trying to get everyone to calm down and just you know get along because exactly. they used to be hippies. So yes. when our age is the in between, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to be everywhere. It's going to be a disaster. But uh, I mean, we had the Nevada caucuses yesterday. I guess Trump won that one, and Hillary Clinton won that one. Well, Hillary Clinton's basically already got the Democratic de- nomination. Yeah, because of all the super delegates. Yeah. So So we're hitting those super delegates right now and we're getting up and up and up. I mean like Bernie Sanders would literally have to win like every state to compete with the super delegates. That's how many Democratic super delegates there are. It's dumb. North Carolina, I think we're having ours in Ours is usually in May. May. I think you're right. And but usually by the time it gets to us Everything's already everything's out. already settled, decided one person's already got enough nominations. Exactly. Or everyone else has just backed out because they know that they're yeah. not going to get it. We had Jeb Bush drop out. I would really like to see Ted Cruz. I, I like Ben Carson, but Ben Carson's not aggressive enough. Yeah, but that, hey, that 1% of vote he's getting. Exactly. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to vote for yet, honestly. I honestly, this is uh, the first year that I honestly have, um, even before I could vote, I knew who like I would have voted for if I could. This is the first year since I've ever been following politics, mm-hmm. which for a long time I really followed really because I was going to go into either foreign policy or politics or whatever. And I know the rest of the world, you don't yeah. care, bear with us. But this is the first year that I really am like, I have no idea. Because some of the things I agree with one person and then other things I agree with another person. And none of them have a thing that I'm like, okay, this is a thing that's like a deal breaker yeah. one way or the other, you know? Zombie Reagan. 2016. I don't think I could vote for Zombie Reagan. Mm. I'd vote for Chewbacca Solo. There we go. I did see uh, Palpatine, uh, Palpatine uh, Vader. Yeah, let the Wookiee win. <laughs> I, the, did you see the Kenobi? Uh, who was on Kenobi show? I don't remember. Oh, it wasn't Skywalker, was it? I don't remember. It might, I'm not sure. We could do something Then like there was that. the Boba Fett one that was just Boba Fett. That's that was it. great. That's all you need. Um, number... I love my Chewbacca solo shirt just real quick. Whenever I wear the people are like, oh, I'd vote for that. And I'm like, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you just forget you're always <laughs> wearing it. You wore that last week, I think. Mm, maybe. I think so. Something like that. We'll take a look at it. Number two we've got coming up on the list. We have a uh, old school Will Smith movie, uh, Independence Day. But it is the second one. It has the... Uh... It has everyone returning except for Will Smith. Exactly. Because he said, I have too much money. Or did he say, I'm boycotting Hollywood? No, that was his wife. Either way, he probably she probably made him boycott. No, I don't think that had anything to do with this. <laughs> but uh, uh, I've seen the previews of this. I have. I think I've seen the first one a long, long time ago. So I'm gonna rewatch it. Oh man, Independence Day is one of those like it's just a good movie. Classic. You gotta it's like watch one of those it. movies you have to watch. Yeah. So uh, I guess we're both. I think we'll go and see this. Yeah. I, yeah. I, definitely. You know me. I gotta go see those blockbusters. You always got to. I gotta see all the blockbusters. Um, on a rating of out of ten, how excited are you? How excited am I? Yes. Probably like an eight. How well do I think the movie's going to be? Probably like a five. Yeah. I mean... I'm not expecting much out of this movie, honestly. I'm not going to be there opening night, but I'm not going to let a month go by to see it. I'll probably go opening weekend. That's typically the range I like to try and go in. Uh, I, I just do. The next thing we got on the list we don't really care about. 
Justin no. Bieber and Adele concerts? No. What I, do you do at an Adele concert? Uh, uh, I mean, do you lighter. like cry? You and... cry and use your lighter. I mean, seriously, I, I'm I'm against big concerts because as soon as well, I that's because you're a hipster. I'm as soon as I heard how much Beyonce was charging for her tickets, I got really mad. Everyone charges a lot. That's of money ridiculous. For their I can't. I cannot. How pay much s- was she charging? It's like for two tickets at VIP front row, I think it was seventy two hundred dollars. That's because they were VIP more. front row, Chris. How much were they charging for normal seats? Jeez, I couldn't tell you. Taylor Swift in the Coliseum for like the the normal like back section was like hundred and forty dollars a ticket, I think. Ooh. I think Van Halen for those same seats was a hundred maybe. I saw Red Hot Chili Peppers for forty five. Well, where was that at? Uh that was in Raleigh, PNC Center. Oh, that was in the, the mm. PNC, so that's not bad then. See, Muse. But was that in like the back section, like the upper deck area? It was around that. That's still not bad no, though, 45. Muse, for... Muse, my brother, has paid really good tickets. He's paid about $100, which is not bad. I saw Motley Crue with Alice Cooper. I guess it was technically Alice Cooper with Motley Crue because it was Motley Crue's tour at the Coliseum a couple years ago. And I think we paid somewhere around like $60 maybe for not on the floor, but the rows like right along right the along floor. So I mean, those are pretty really good seats. Good. That's really good. And uh, we weren't in the front side. We were like towards right where it starts to wrap around. Gotcha. But they had like this crazy thing. The drummer like came up like on this crazy track and like flipped around and like was in front of us. And at the end of the concert, all of Motley crew came like on this little platform that like went up and then i like, did a little acoustic set on that's it so really, that was really cool that's really cool it worked out to be really great New- seats newsboys did that with their drummer yeah the um, newsboys used to do a lot of crazy stuff with their drummer trans siberian orchestra always does fire and uh a little yeah, thing where they go out yeah yeah Scared. a lot of people a lot of bands do that stuff but it's really cool. uh seriously though adele concert pass justin bieber concert um More although i although the word on the street is that it's actually a pretty good album which I don't know if they're comparing that to other Justin Bieber albums or actually to like what you would call a good album. I don't know. But that's just what I've heard. Uh, I'm going to pass. Uh, highly pass. Um, I've seen a lot of bands in concert, but uh, I won't see either of them. No, definitely not. I mean, maybe if I like won tickets to see Adele, I would. I don't know that I could buy tickets to see Adele. I would sell them. Because what? I don't know if I'd sell them if I wanted them. I'd go. Just actually, you know, that would be a good are, date. Concerts are enjoyable. Yeah, like, that- I enjoy live music. That'd be a good date. But. Huh. With who, Chris? We'll find someone. Who are you dating? No one. We'll Who's find this someone. mystery girl? We'll find someone. I don't have anybody. It'll probably stay that way for a while. Okay. We'll put your phone number down there <laughs> and someone can call you. Pick but, me. Pick me. Oh, gosh. I'm not buying a Dell concert tickets for you. Number four, uh, Rio 2016. Something the whole world can care about, finally. Yes. Um, the Summer Olympics are coming to Rio this year. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's going to be in the summertime. Uh, so well, considering it's the Summer Olympics, <laughs> yeah. Chris. So I, I think we're going to be looking at that, and it's Man, pretty exciting. I love me some Summer Olympics. See, I prefer winter. I think the Winter I, Olympics are fun. I I enjoy the winter sports uh, more. Now, just uh, they're more extreme sports, is why not because they're better sports. But I I like the Summer Olympics because like everyone in the world kind of rallies around the Summer Olympics, not mm. so much the Winter Olympics. I got you. So I really. I really get into the Summer Olympics. I, I, there's a bigger crowd for the Last summer. Last Summer Olympics, I actually spent the whole two weeks pretty much watching the Summer Olympics and uh, keeping up with all of that. Um, I just happened to be in a job where I was able to do that. The Winter Olympics, last time I was totally not able to do that. And this year for the Summer Olympics, again, I just won't be able to do that. What about... Well, no, I, even if it's at night, I just I won't be able well, to. Well, so if you like the Olympics, do you like like X Games? Can you uh, watch X yeah, Games? Yeah, I get into X Games. I like X Games. I, I like extreme I, sports. I, I like getting into there. I mean, I would. I think it's more enjoyable to me because it's stuff I kind of like, you know, skateboarding. Well, biking. you're hardcore. Oh, uh, yeah. No, you're not. You're, you're poser hardcore. Is that yeah, what they call it? I guess so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't we, know what you are, we've, Chris. We've got, um, well, number five, we're moving on. Uh, is our favorite thing is the internet of things take shape. So I guess a lot of things are going to be, um, what shape does clouds take? Oh my gosh. I, I think it looks like George Washington's head. Uh, that it might be a good guess. It's I mean, like it, a wig from parliament. The, the pictures that they're showing us, it looks like everything's going to be connecting to the cloud. Look, you know, refrigerators are connected to the cloud. Washroom machines are connected to the cloud. Cars. Why is it my microwave though? The cars. I mean, uh, other than the fact that I just be completely pointless. Yeah. Video games, cameras, cell phones, light bulbs. 
Light bulbs, actually, I, don't know. I will say the light bulbs being connected to the cloud is really useful. Um, just because of like you can control your lights from a Wi Fi device, then. Uh huh. Which, you know, we've all seen in movies where people, I mean, and we've seen this in movies since like the 80s and 90s, mm. probably, where people are like able to like control their whole house from like a handheld computer yeah. type device. Before tablets were even really a thing, people were doing this. Speaking of which, I was on Facebook. Kind of jump off this one because I'm not going to do the next one because I don't know anything. Because we don't show. watch this show. I don't watch that show. But I did see someone that you can build a house with one screwdriver. I saw it on Facebook today. Cool. I guess that was a How big cool. is the screwdriver? I have no idea. Is it like one of those multi-tip screwdrivers? It might be, but I'm not sure. Like, How are you things- building your foundation? Man, see, that's one thing I got to continue to watch. I thought it was really cool, but I was like, this thing doesn't seem true at all. No, I mean, I, it could be true. I'm just saying, like, you'd have to use a lot of fasteners mm-hmm. and a lot some more materials. Yeah, a lot more. Because, you know, some of the reasons we can have houses so they, cheap in most areas is because, like, the foundation is just laid of cement, cement blocks, and then they drill into that. And then the way the beams are structured, they're able to optimize the amount of hardware and they, lumber that you need well that's the thing is they stated that this house would take like a month to make but i don't know is, is that it working? a 3d printed house i have no idea we'll look at it later it was just something that caught my eye and, I, and then i something i had to do something hey i'm into i'm into crazy stuff you want to do it i would not no. okay um, i like my house is not to blow away Next thing on our list is Broad City. We don't really watch it. I don't know Yeah, it's coming it. back. Yeah, okay. moving on. Moving on. Zoolander 2. Zoolander 2. Did you see Zoolander? I did see Zoolander. This is a movie that I'll probably... The files are in the computer. <laughs> I'll probably wait until it comes out on DVD. so hot. <laughs> I'll probably wait until it comes out on DVD or maybe watch it in the Dollar Theater. It's an entertaining movie. They're entertaining. But I don't think it's something that really... I like those type of movies. Opening weekend. Opening weekend Come for you. on. See, Come on, Chris. The other guys, uh, Step Brothers, those type, those type of movies, they, I like that. This one is in that same area to me. Except for the first one, it was actually funny. It whereas was. Whereas the movies you named were not as cleverly funny. It was more just like your typical... Will Ferrell movie. Will Ferrell exactly. funny movie that you're like, yeah, it's, it's... If you like his humor, it's funny, but it's kind of like the same, the same humor, humor over and over. It's kind of like our favorite Adam Sandler humor. Never I actually think Adam Sandler has some pretty good movies. Old, and he uh, also has some very not good movies. His older movies, I think, were good. No, I would say his older movies. And then there was a section in the middle that were not very great. And then he's kind of coming back around, although Pixels was... Mm, yeah. Yeah. But um, anyways. Yeah. Um, we already went over virtual reality. Yep. Virtual coming. reality is happening this year. Okay, next. Opening night, 10 o'clock or the 7 o'clock show. Batman. You're talking about Thursday? Yes. I, I podcast on Thursdays also. Well, that That's going to be hard to rearrange. Actually, you know what? That show is about superheroes, so that's probably going to be easy to rearrange. So we'll, yes, we can gonna, just record we'll, that on Friday. They'll rearrange that one. We'll be... I'm not saying guaranteed we will, but we can probably work something out. We'll be in the movie theater. Batman... It'll either be Thursday or Friday for sure. Yes. Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. Yes. We will definitely go see this. We'll be in theater. Hype level 10. And we will do a... On this show... Well, actually, I'll ask you this. Would you consider doing a um, me coming on a Thursday and recording a spoiler separated with you and Brinson? Maybe. Okay. I don't know. It just really depends on what we end up doing for that show. That's fine. I mean, we're just to do a separate one because I know you guys will yeah. do a show. We'll do a show. And then if you guys want to do a yeah, separate we'll see. one. Okay. Uh, Batman v Superman, real quick before we move on. Okay. Um, the director's cut that will be included with the Blu-ray release, rated R. Really? Yeah. It's funny you say that because I saw Deadpool this weekend. Have not seen it yet. It's only, it's like the only movie that I've been wanting to see that I have it's, not seen like opening weekend time frame. It's actually very crass and there's some things yeah, in there. Yeah, um, I heard that it was kind of crass and more so than Deadpool was in the comics. Yeah, but, there was nudity. There was uh, some jokes that I, that probably could have left out with, but I guess it's Marvel's first rated R movie. They wanted to um, make, and like I said, I haven't seen it yet, so this is purely based off of what I've heard. They wanted to make the point that we're not trying to change the Deadpool character to be successful in the box office. We want to keep him true to who he is for the fans. Gotcha. 
Uh, they probably went a little overboard to make sure the point was made, but hey, it is critically the movie's done really well. It was really, so. it was a really good movie. Um, new ways to pay going mainstream. We already see this with Samsung yeah, Pay. Apple U.S. Pay. is kind of behind on this front. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, the chip cards has been like a thing in like the rest of the world for a long time. I mean, um, I say a long time. I mean, like you know, probably like the last five years. Whereas people in America are like, "What chip card?" Anyways, hmm. um, that's it's that's something small. We don't. Really um, care. I actually care about the chip card thing. I like the chip card, uh, the Apple Pay and Google Wallet stuff. I don't. I don't trust. It's not the matter of trust. I just don't care to do that with my phone. It's so easy to use it with your card or pay with cash. I just. It's like one more thing that is tied up into your phone where like if your battery dies or mm. you still gonna have to carry around the card in case your battery dies. Exactly. So you, it's just, I don't know. People just, are really into it though. And like, hey, I'm cool with advancing technologies and all that. Cause I, like I said, I can just use a chip card instead. Mm. So it makes no difference to me. But that's just kind of where personally I'm not gonna use it. Just it has nothing to do with trusting it because it's the same technology that's on the chip card. True. I don't think it's I'm nothing use to do it. with trusting. It's well, it's completely the fact that I just don't want my phone. I don't want to be relying on my phone to pay for stuff. That's the only, the only reason, reason. The only reason I don't have it is because my bank doesn't isn't compatible with it yet, and I don't think I will use it. When well, it that's comes. too bad. I don't think. What, what bank are you on? I'm a member's credit union, which is only in North Carolina. Members Credit Union? Were they not like through MasterCard or Visa? No. Well, we have Visa, yes, but it, for, some, for some reason it's not compatible. But Visa should be, right? I'm going to double check. So why isn't your Visa card still compatible? Because Visa is still who handles the transactions for those yeah, fees. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, That's I, I weird. I I'm going to figure out. Okay. Um, next thing would be AI, artificial Dude, intelligence. AI is going to be crazy this year. So Google has this thing where one of their interview questions is they ask you, it's called the 100 hat riddle or something like that. And basically they say there's a bunch of inmates who have like red and alternating red and blue hats. And then they stand you all up in the line facing one way and they start in the back of the line with a gun to your head and ask you what color your hat is. And if you guess correctly, you live. If you don't, you die. But um, they don't say if you're right or wrong. And um, theoretic, well, hypothetically in this riddle, the inmates can't hear if the person dies or not. They just can hear what he said. So, like, I don't know, is it like a silent gun and the guy doesn't fall over? I don't know. Anyways, um, and the riddle, you know, you're supposed to figure out what's the most likely way for, the, you know, how can you save all the inmates or the how can the least number die? Um, and basically the Google AI figured out the solution that only one person would die and everyone else could be saved. And it has to do with counting the number of the hats and if there's more reds than blues or blues than reds. The first guy says it and... Of course he dies because no one can say it, help him but then if there's an odd number of blue hats he says one thing and if there's an odd number of red hats he says the other and then what you do is you just start counting all the hats and then you listen to what the guy behind you says so if he says if there's an odd number of blues he counts all the blue hats and if he counts an odd number of blues then he knows he has a red and then basically everyone does that and just mm. has to keep track of what's said behind them also and then everyone else could live except for the first guy who had to tell him which gotcha. number there was an odd of Gotcha. And the AI was able to figure that out, which typically they can't. Artificial intelligence has been something around since we've wanted to learn for how long? Artificial intelligence has been, I mean... Since the dawn of but technology. But see, when was the original Star Trek series? Like in the 70s, 60s? 60s, 70s? I think it was in the 60s. And I'm sure even before then there was sci-fi stuff with artificial intelligence. Um, they didn't necessarily call it that. But that's basically what it was. So, I mean, it's since the dawn of the technology as we know it today. Well, speaking of some movies, let's see. What's some AI movies that we know of? Uh, iRobot. Oh, we could go on forever. Oh, Terminator. Yeah. Terminator. This, um, it's cool. Um, what was all... that? 2001 A Space Odyssey. Wasn't that with HAL 2000? Right? Probably. Um, I mean, we could, we can go on and on and on. So many um, movies. Artificial intelligence is something that's really Wally. cool, but very scary. Yeah, I mean, Hollywood is definitely using it in a very scary way to make a point, and also because like it's more interesting than being like, oh, technology is great. Anyways, I guess we'll move on. Yeah, let's move that. on. We're we're, we're getting we're close on time. On time. Uh, Ghostbusters three, all female not called cast. Ghostbusters three, is it? Okay, uh, I don't believe it's called Ghostbusters three. I believe it's Ghostbusters. 
that's probably what it is, but it's with an all female cast. Yep. Um, I don't know. Uh, the thing you said was like, this will be great because it's a diverse and funny cast. Yeah. Uh, I don't care that it's all female. Just not the females I would have picked because I only think like uh, one of them is actually really funny. Which is? Uh, let's see. It's Melissa McCartney. No. Who else was in it? A lot of people disagree with you. Yeah, um, well, that's too bad for them. I don't some, think she's some funny. some people like, look familiar, but I don't know who they are. Uh, basically, uh, none of them were the first four that I would pick, though. Gotcha. There's a lot more people you pick. And uh, Melissa McCartney would be picked for zero movies because I don't think she's that funny. It's nothing personal. Uh, Just don't think she's funny. I can understand that. Um, a smart car. Yeah, smart cars are whatever. Automated Ubers by the end. I do not want my car driving itself. Sorry. Uh, again, iRobot. It is. I like driving. And I want to be able to run through walls if I needed to in a situation. Not that I ever anticipate that happening, mm-hmm. but I like the option. See, I thought it was really funny. Like an iRobot, they're like, oh, I cannot believe you drove your own car. You know, you have to leave it on autopilot, and that's yeah. one of the reasons why he crashed. Well, there's reasons why. Um, yeah, he crashed to save his life. Exactly. Which is, like I said, I want that option. Probably never need it. Also, I just like driving. Um, number 14, Bittersweet, American Idol, final season. Mostly sweet. Mostly sweet. It was uh, fun while it lasted. Good for one season. Good for a couple, yeah. We got Kelly Clarkson out of it, and then probably should have ended. Because, let's see, who else have we gotten out of that that is still relevant or popular today? American Idol? Yeah, see, you can't even think it's, of anyone. I, I can't. See, American Idol is just like a Didn't child. Didn't uh, Clay Aiken came out of that? Yeah, who? Clay who? Um, there were some other people who Kelly were... Kelly Clarkson? I said Kelly Clarkson already. Yeah. That's the only one that's actually that relevant, relevant still today. yeah. David Archuleta should have won. Um, now, some of the people who got second actually ended up with better deals because they didn't exactly. have to sign with the American Idol exactly. people. But. Um, so we're looking... Um, yeah, Final Amer- season. American Idol, it, it's, it's just like a newborn kid. You know, it's cute for the first couple years, and then it gets annoying. And newborn get- kids are not cute for the first couple years. Most babies are <laughs> ugly, let's just say. Well, we can agree with that, and sometimes. Sorry. Um... Leap year. Yep. We are in the month of a leap year. We are in the uh, leap. 366 days. The leap days. day is coming soon. Yep. Well, happy birthday, Abby, our one-time resident on the Weekly Flare. My uh, pastor, when I was in Washington, was born on leap day. So he's turning 14 this year. Aha. Uh-huh. Abby's turning five. Is she that old? Yeah. Ma, she's lived through five leap years. Yep. That's a... Uh, she's old. Well, I guess the last thing we'll look at is video games of 2016. That's um, every year we could say awesome yeah. video games are coming. The Last Guardian, Doom, Legend of Zelda, Mass Effect, uh, Uncharted 4, Gears 4, Gears of War 4, excuse me, Metroid Prime, Street Fighter 5, and you've been playing Street Fighter. So how many of those games do you actually know what they are, Chris? Uh, majority of them. Do you know what The Last Guardian is? Probably not, because that game's been in, in development forever. No, I haven't, actually. Yeah, that game's been in development forever supposedly finally coming out this year but uh pretty much until that game actually is in someone's playstation nobody believes it's coming out because it's been in development and announced and re-announced and re-announced and then nothing said for years and then a little teaser then nothing said for years finally said it's coming out this year now you've been playing street fighter 5 yes because i've been getting online and seeing you've been playing street fighter 5 like me some street fighter are you excited about any other games that have not been listed here Oh, what else is coming out this year? We, uh, we got one coming out. No Man's weeks. Sky is coming out this year, and that's going to be great. Uh, the Division comes out in a couple weeks. I played the beta that. over the weekend. Good. I like it. It's uh, what you'd ex- It's I mean, it's exactly what they've been advertising. It's a third-person cover shooter that's uh, RPG elements, a persistent online gameplay. It's I mean, it's exactly what they've said it is. The gameplay felt solid to me for the time I spent with it. I didn't play a lot because, like I said, it's coming out in like two weeks. I just want to play enough to get a, get a feel for it if I'm going to want to buy it since I had the option I, to try it out. Have you had a pre? Have you pre-ordered? Nope. I'm going to pre-order at the end of the month. I'm probably going to pre-order it like the day before it comes out just so I can pre-download, pre-install it. Gotcha. Go digital, folks. Yep. Not because it costs better, just it's convenient. But that, people well, don't have internet that can support that, so I get it. Well... That's my list of 2016. That's a good list. That's a pretty solid list. The only thing you missed was, uh, why didn't they talk about Captain America Civil War? I'm not sure. This is a short list. 
Uh, yeah, that's coming out soon. And there's another Marvel movie coming out this year, probably, right? Probably. Like later in the summer? I mean, Captain America always comes out in May. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm pretty sure there's another one coming out um, later this year. But maybe Deadpool was the second Marvel. No, surely there's another one. I don't know. Well, if you've enjoyed this show and somehow are still with us, because we probably lost you at the first point when we talked about politics, and you're like, this isn't a politics show. No. I'm getting out of here. Which, hey, that's cool. Um, but if you want to go to theweeklyflare.com, check us out there. If you'd like to, please head on over to like iTunes, leave us a sweet review, one star, five star. It doesn't really matter much to us because anything you do helps us get seen in iTunes. So go on over there, leave us your honest reviews, unless you don't like my voice, in which case, don't say a word because then I'll have to cry all week. And Chris will come back and the apartment will be flooded and that would just be terrible. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to follow Chris, he's on Twitter at... Never lose heart. That is all one word. That's right. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm at James Walter. And of course, you can find The Weekly Flair on Twitter at The Weekly Flair. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys again in seven days. Peace.